back on the Terran. Now I'm trying to at least finish up the airline. I'm going to upgrade it to, uh, to a steel, stainless steel braided line from Airlift. Uh, I got the fitting for this one, but my buddy over here uh, got me this adapter. It will work, hopefully. Uh, here's the part numbers. That's the line, and here's the fitting. You need two of those. All right, I have a stainless steel lines in the front because it moves and shit. So I'm uh, gonna put Teflon tape on this. I'm gonna start removing the other one my lighting, but took the old one off. I'm gonna put the new one on. Get right tidy. Just put the new airline. That looks much better for me. Uh, just clips in here. With the regular hose, I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna start, not start the car, but at least put air in it and see if there's any leaks. Oh. All right, I got it at 60, 61. We're gonna grab some soapy water. Let's see if she holds. Sounds like she holds. I'm happy, very happy. I'm probably gonna do some tests. I'm probably, yeah, everything doesn't leak. We're gonna start doing the other side. Hopefully get the air suspension done. I just need to tighten down these uh, nut, whatever the hell's it called, and then tighten this down too. Get the uh, tie rod in and add the air sensors, height thing, image jiggers onto. I'm gonna finish up with the air suspension, then start playing with the oil leaks and flipping this thing around. That's my little update. Mm -hmm. I know, talking is shitty. Everything's all good here, no leaks. I just need to route this better and start putting the lines cleaner at the sensors for the height. Uh, pretty much it. I uh, just need to find my spanner wrench so I can tighten everything down, put the sword bar links on. Uh, stay tuned, guys. Hopefully, the next video, I'll be done with doing this air suspension and then start playing with the oil leaks and shit like that. Stay tuned. Have a nice day, night, weekend. Try to stay safe and stay dirty.